Hey everyone, this is Alex Portfaza. Today I'm training with the one and only Charles Glass. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you. Yeah, he's a trainer of the champions, trainer of the celebrities, so worldwide famous uh, trainer. So it's a big honor for me to be here with you today. Uh, we're gonna train arms and uh, hopefully we get some tips from him and uh, I'm gonna ask him some questions about his work with uh, world famous athletes. Let's go. Right. We'll start right. first off with a feature curl. And lock yourself in. Uh -huh. And come grip. Now here, I need to now keep my seat. Like this? No, no, no. Uh -huh. Squeeze, that's it, let go. Squeeze, let go. Come on, that's it, good. Work it, work it. Mm -hmm. Come on. Good, come on. Can I hold your head up? Head up. Now, good. There you go, good. Two more. One more. Perfect, good. Right, Power me over here. What we're doing is a super snap. Right now you're going to take it. Don't push it to the front. Don't push it down here using your okay. shoulders. Push it in Keep front it of you more. Front of me. Yes. And squeeze at the bottom. Okay. And don't don't let your hand bend back. Lock it and push into the movement. Okay. Got it. Here we go. Is this a warm up so it's not going to count? Okay. Bend those knees a little. There you go. Let it come all the way up. Up, 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 up. Now push. From there. There you go. See how your wrist is bending back? Yeah. Don't let it bend back like that. No. Lock it on top. Like that? Like that. Yeah. So bring it up. Now push. There you go. Good. Mm-hmm. Lock it into the tricep. Come on. Good. I've been slacking on my tricep. Someone needs to catch it up. Yeah. So how many people do you normally train per day? You have like such a tight schedule. It just depends on who comes in. Okay. Uh, I start at four in the morning. And I normally finish about four in the evening, and I don't have any breaks. I just go straight through. When do you eat? Uh, five minutes here, five minutes there. <laughs> just snacking, you know, pretty much all day. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Oh. There you go. Pull, pull, head up. There you go, come on. Pull, pull, good. Again. Push it, push it. There you go, come on. In, in, in. There you go, come on. Come on, one more, one more. Good, there you go. Same. Remember when you push, you're gonna push it so you're locking that wrist. Don't let it bend. Push it so you're here, push it. Uh -huh. Okay, there you go. There you go, good. Do it again. There you go. Lock that wrist on top. Come on. Three. Two. Perfect. Burning already. Second set. This Perfect set. Make sure we're working hard. Ah. Bring it tighter to the body here, uh -huh. and just push down. Now push from there. Push it, push it. Again. Two more, two more. One big one. Perfect. Do you prefer working in high intensity mode, like all the time? You have very short breaks in the excess. That's your style? I, it just depends. It just depends. If you can recover, you recover. If you don't, now to take a little longer. It just depends on the athlete himself. Um, I work around what you need, not around my needs. See, so if you need a longer break, you'll say, hey, look, let me take two more minutes, and you know, I'll let you take a break. Yeah. I don't believe in resting you know, three minutes. It's way too long. It's more you like know? probably. Three yeah, three I don't, I'm into that. I go a little faster than that. That's why I superset, you know, because I'm trying to get, those, get as much blood as I can into the arms so we can get some growth out of it. Your body only, you only grow when you rest anyway. So we can get you to that point where we can put enough blood there, then let you go rest. They're gonna grow, you know? So if we take all day just to get the blood into the muscle, 
not going to happen. Because we're wasting a whole lot of time. If you spend more than an hour training a body part, to me, yeah. The top, <clears throat> hold it, not hold it up. <clears throat> hold it right there. Come on. <clears throat> hold it right there. Come on. <clears throat> yeah, come on. Squeeze it. Ah, <clears throat> let it go. Squeeze it. <clears throat> let go. Come on. Squeeze it. <clears throat> let go. Here we go. Get it, get it, get it, get it. <clears throat> there you go. Come on. Hold it. Oh, head up, head up. Come on. There you go. Again. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Second. Who's your favorite client to train? I, I don't. I, all my clients are good to me. Yeah. You know, I like training them all. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. You know, but uh, do I like training bodybuilders? Yes. But I get more, they all know what to do. I get more pleasure out of training civilians, I call them. You know, uh, some of the housewives, some of the uh, attorneys, some, you know, CEOs of companies. I have an 83 year old grandmother that trains with me, and she, she puts it all. <laughs> she says, she tells me, listen, you think I'm gonna lose weight? You're crazy, because I love to eat. I just want to keep the blood moving, so that's what we do, you know? And I have a writer, and she's a good friend of mine. We've been training together for 35 years, and she is magnificent. She trains hard every single time she comes in. She trains three to four times a week. She gives it her all every single time. How did you end up being a trainer? Like, uh, was it like a long way around, or from being an athlete to... I've always, I had so much pleasure out of training people that I decided to just which I'm just train there. people, yeah. yeah. You know, I had a regular job for 10 years and I quit that to do what I'm doing now and I'm, I'm so happy. I've never been this happy. So you quit some yeah. job before you started? I was an engineer. Engineer? Yeah. What field? E electrical and mechanical engineer. So you've still been doing it like 10 years before you, you were still I doing did that? I did it all while I was competing I was doing that. <laughs> <laughs> You can do that over there. You're gonna do what's called drag curl. Okay. You're gonna take the bar, uh -huh. you're gonna pull the scapula in, contract in here, contract in the muscles here. Okay. And really, if you don't pull your traps, it's just pulling, you roll your shoulders back as this way uh -huh. as you're dragging the weight up. Uh -huh. Okay? So not curling, you're dragging along You're, 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 you're dragging the belly. Squeeze yeah, okay, at the top. Yeah, squeeze at the top. You just gotta hold it. Now you can't okay. Do top. There you go. Hold it there. Hold it there for a second or two. That's it. Perfect. There you go. A little higher. Pull it up higher. Right there. That's it. Do it again. That's it. Come on, squeeze it, squeeze it. One more, one more. That's tough. This is tricep, we're gonna do skull press. Right here for the tricep. Right here, push it back toward me. Bring it down here, now come back toward my hand. There, come down again. Up, perfect. Do you have any predictions for this Olympia? Do you think Sean is going to make it? I don't yeah? make predictions. You no? know why? Because I've trained too many guys to make a prediction. Yeah. If, if I train a guy and he's competing against another guy, I, that's not like I'm not going to help that guy. So whatever happens, happens. This time I'm doing the same thing. Dexter's competing, Sean competing. So I mean, why would I make a, try to do a prediction? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm hindering both. Yeah. You know? You still work with Sean? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I used to I see just started you back. A lot, uh, okay, I got I it. I just started back with him, yeah. I got it, I got it. Yeah. Ah. Uh. 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 Uh.
Push that button. Push that button. Uh -huh. The weight is not that heavy, but you know, it's, it's hard. <laughs> when you do it, you cry, it's hard. Yep. And with Skull Crushers, you're asking me to push it that way. It's always, it, it also makes it much harder mm -hmm. than to make it just in this. Oh, that's easy that way. <laughs> Bring it to your forehead. Now I'm back behind you. Come toward me. Go. Uh, there you go. Uh, 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 there you go. <laughs> My subscribers, they were all wondering. How do you get to train with Charles Glass? Can you can you say like, uh, is it possible? Email me. My email address is just Charles R Glass uh -huh. at AOL.com. Okay. Email me, and my assistant will answer you right away. We'll set it up. And we'll be ready so to go. You'll find time for. Got to make the time. Yeah. I was wondering about uh, price wise. Yeah. What it is is it just depends upon what my availability is. Uh, normally, I try to work. I try to work things out for people. I have people who've been training me for 35 years, so I mean, of course, they're gonna pay a lot less than a person gonna come in for just one day yeah. or one week or whatever. Uh, but I start out around about 200, and it goes up from there. Okay. So, if you guys want to train with the best, you have to be ready to pay because you're not just getting it from the streets. That's all bodybuilding wisdom in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how old are you? 65. Oh, 64 right now. I'll be. 65 in November. In November? Yeah. So I love it. Yeah, we can see it from, from your smiling face, <laughs> you know, shining all the day. <laughs> yeah. No matter how many clients you have, every time I get in here, Charles is smiling, Charles is happy, Charles is doing his thing. But you gotta understand, if it's the person that's pulling me down, I get rid of them real quick. <laughs> oh, I, really? Yeah, like I, being depressed with them? Yeah, stuff? because it's, there's no sense to let them hang around. They're, they're not interested, they're just they're here wasting time. I'll let my assistant train. <laughs> <laughs> it works out. Yeah, I seen that guy training with yeah. uh, Dexter the other day. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking he was your son or something. No, right? no. Just no. assistant? That's my assistant. Do you have kids? Yes, I do. Yeah? yeah. Do they train yeah. as well? Uh, no. My daughter's a hip hop dancer. Really? Yeah, she's very good. Very she good? good. Oh, my God, yeah. yes. Competing? She's been on every single talk show there is. Oh, really? Yes. She's danced with a lot of different celebrities. The one with the J-Law show? She's on the World of Dance, matter of fact. Yeah? yeah. Her name is Charlize Glass. And she was, it was called Julian and Charlize. They were teamed up together. What season and was it? It just finished up. Yeah, it oh, just the finished. last one? Yeah, last Number one. Number three, I think? Yeah. She's good. My daughter is a ballet dancer, but she's only six years old, but she's, she's incredible. My, my daughter's great her in here. Four. Oh, really? 17. Yeah, years. dancing is that thing that you have to start early. You have ballet first. That's, that's the classic. That's, that's the root of everything. Yeah, right yeah. That's what you I was thinking. Ballet. I was getting, yeah. getting my daughter to ballet. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's that's cool. Cool. Because they have that foundation, they can go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Here we go. Come on, bring it up. Bring it up. That's it. Two more. Come on. Take those arms out. Too much blood in my. Uh, I'm competing in men's physique, so it's important for me to uh, get this separation between shoulder and triceps. And my triceps is not that good. It's uh, I've been slacking on my triceps, especially on this hat, like outer hat. That's the hardest head to hit because pretty much everything you do hit the inside head, right? Yeah. But in order to hit the outside head, what you want to do when you have a rope, most people do it like this, right? Uh -huh. that's, that's outside, that's inside that's head. That's what I was doing. But what you want to do is roll this way and squeeze. So that's the only thing that's going to hit the outside head is to rotate it and squeeze. Yeah, if you, you don't do that, you can always work inside. Try that, hit that head every single time. Yeah, you can yeah. do it.
Do you have a lot of tall, uh, tall clients? I have a few. Yeah? Yeah. What about training style? Is it any different to shorter guys? Training style is no different. Uh, they just got longer limbs to fill out, you know? Yeah. Uh, you have a guy who's short, short limbs, you gotta, everything's compact in. Where your limbs are long, so they try to, it takes a little harder. To get them thicker, I gotta go a little wider to get that thickness we need. And rather than trying to work on the peak, I get them thick first, then I try to peak them up. Yeah. You know, people say that you gotta have genetics in order to get that peak. It, it, it's not a lot. That's not true. The thing about it is, is how, how many calories you consume that makes you bigger. Genetics is what your overall shape looks like. You know, if you have, you don't have good genetics, you don't have the same shape as some of the other guys. So you gotta pack on what more muscle. Sometimes you can fool the person just by packing on more muscle. They're like get so overwhelmed by the muscle size. They're like, wow. If we get all about genetics. And I'm taking like uh, 4,000 calories a day. Do you think it's okay for me or should I go higher? You gotta go higher. They got calories. Yeah. They got sort of guys you taking 4,000. Just to, just to maintain some. And is it okay to take enzymes? If you're not in the you you, you gotta take good. some to help do what you gotta do. Otherwise, you're not gonna digest all that food. I just feel like I don't have to digest. You know, yep. I wake up in the morning and I feel still, that. Still stuff. Yeah. yeah. So you take an enzyme to help process, get it moving, get it out of your system. So you eat more. Yeah. What do we do here? Dumbbell bar. Sitting? Okay. Just rest a little bit. Put it on the okay. Feet inside. Right there. There you go. Just curl one side, then the other side. All sides. Right. Okay, you're fun turn. There you go. Come on. Usually okay, I'm going for 65, so my form is all fucked up. This one is what? 25. And that's already hurting. But you get some stuff beforehand. That's what makes it different. Oh, yeah. That's it. Come on up and turn it. Now just relax, relax your arm when you come down. Two more, two more. One more, one, one more. That's it. Perfect. I'm only counting one side. Perfect. Put it down. Let's go. Knuckles together. Don't let it part. You keep it together. There we go. Yeah. Rolling up. Ah, see you open it up. Yeah. Keep your knuckles together. Oh, there okay. you go. Knuckles together. There you uh, go. Good. Now, you're here, right? Yeah. So, rotate it like that and then go back. There you go. Rotate it. Yeah. Uh -huh. There you go. Rotate it. See? Uh -huh. Right here on that head. See? Yeah. Come on. Keep it. Rotate. That's it. Good. Uh -huh. Stay on top of the outside head right there. Rotate. Uh -huh. Good. Good, come on. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. It's brutal. How did it feel? Very, man. Yeah, I felt like I never felt it before. Like outer hat? Yeah. Yeah. I will definitely be doing those. It's, yeah. It doesn't it, feel it's that natural. It's, that it's, it's not a natural position. Yeah. See? 
But what it is, you got to get used to roll it, roll it, and it just hit that outside head. Yeah. I've seen one of the variations. I think Mike Mike Rashid did it a couple years ago. Uh, he was using using this uh, B B handle. Okay. Yeah. But he mm -hmm. that way. And he was extending his arms like that. Also, not very natural position. Yeah, not at all. Also, if you do it this, here, here, outside here. So, major thing is to keep your uh, hands closer together. together. Close yeah. together. Push the turn it. There you go. Good. Good. Come on, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Good. Come on. That's brutal. Pays off though. Yeah, my arm's about to explode now. <laughs> Let's go, we got a tricep. Don't go right away, we'll wait for a second or two, then we'll hit it. Okay. Did you get to compete uh, against Arnold? Oh, no. Yeah, no? before me. Like 10 years before, right? Or something like that. Yeah. yeah I, start, I started late. Um, I mean, I was in college, you know. I uh, started my career when I was in college. I was a gymnast in college. Okay. And I did gymnastics for as long as I could. And then I, I wanted something with more longevity to it. So I, I tried Olympic lifting first. And I, I mean, I was good at the snatch because I was quick and I was strong. And then I went from there to power lifting. And so one of my buddies talked me into uh, doing a bodybuilding show. And after trying to do that, I was hooked. So I stayed with it. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to talk you into to just to rest a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Push and turn. Keep together. That's it. Uh. Uh. You need one? Uh. Uh. Perfect. Let's go. Are you friends with uh, icons like you are here? Like Arnold, Mike, Mike Hearn, I don't know, Black Prince, or like, are you guys friends or? I think we just acquaintances, mainly. We don't hang out, yes. we don't go out. I, I'm not one of these hangout people. I don't hang out with anybody. Like, when I leave this place, I go home, and I do whatever I want to do, and I don't worry about anybody else. They do. Yeah, now they're here in the gym, we talk. Yeah. We talk all the time. But that doesn't mean we're friends, we just talk. Sometimes I need that downtime. Yeah. So absolutely. I can be by myself and yeah. just relax. Yeah. You know? Nine times out of ten, you go out with your buddies, you're always talking about. It. You're either yeah. yeah, talking about this or talking about something you don't you, you can't relate to. So I really be by myself. Also over there you talk about bodybuilding, about squeezing reps and stuff. I don't, I'm once I leave, I'm done with it. Yeah. I, I want, Do you have any, like, want a peace of mind. Hobby? Side of bodybuilding, like fishing, or I know I'm not a fishing person. No. I have a Harley. I can ride my Harley if I wanted to. I love to take a car and redo it. You know, put stuff all in it. All right. um, yeah, I have a, okay. I have a, a Hummer. Okay. I bought this Hummer when it was brand new, and, and it's still like it's new because I keep changing stuff on it. Change the whole front end, change the rear end, smoke the light. I mean, my doors are like. You go up, turn out, you know, all kind of stuff. You know, I do stuff like that. I mean, I'm a, I think the Hummer when I bought it brand new cost me like 55, you know? And I put a new stereo system in it, cost me 65. <laughs> you see? Yeah, that's what's similar to that, yeah. So, I mean, that's what I like to do. Now I'm thinking about giving me a Jeep and I can redo that. You should start so, your own show. Nah. Right. I like to do it on my own, do it the way I want to do it, and then it's mine. I don't need anybody help. I do my own thing. Good, let's go. Hit it. Uh, 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 uh. Ah! Uh.
Because anything longer than that, there's plenty of blood there. Yeah. Now you want your body to feed off that blood. If you keep training, what's going to happen? You're going to start taking from it. You know? Okay. And you don't want to do that. You want the blood to stay there so it can grow. That's okay. what I don't do usually. Yeah. I just keep on adding those exercises more and more and more. All that does is take away from you. You know, you end up hurting yourself more so than helping you. Okay, thank you so much, Charles, for your time. Yeah, I really hope to see you again here. I'm here all day. Every yeah, day. maybe so. I will sign up for your trainings like uh, on a regular basis. Or no problem. Yeah. I'll be here. I'll, yeah, cool. All right. Sounds thank good. you. Thank you so much. Thanks right. for your time. Thank you.